Hi, I'm Brian, and we're making this video about the CPS ABM Easy Hood. I'm making this video in conjunction with True Tech Tools and TrueTechTools.com. So I'm going to go ahead and unbag it, show you what's all what all comes in the bag. So we have the CPS Easy Hood itself. It's got a little holster here for a smartphone. It's got the flow straighteners here, and it's a pretty pretty simple device. The first thing we want to do if we're going to use it is we want to pull out the hood and assemble it onto the bracket that it comes with here. So this is the bracket. All you do is open these up and they snap into place, these arms. That's all there is to that. And then this. Snaps into, now we'll just do it here. And this snaps in here. Here it makes a little click noise when it snaps in. Well, theoretically, it would make a click noise. There you go. So that's in, that's in place. Right there. This is a plate for under 50 CFM. So it says right on here, do not use for airflow above 50 CFM. But if you have 50 CFM or less, you snap this in and that puts it in low airflow mode. So that is the low airflow adapter. If you don't want low airflow, then you, then you remove that. This is the actual anemometer. It comes with this little adapter that helps hold it into place in the headphone jack. So this is the ABM 200. This is actually a Bluetooth device. So you don't have to connect this to the headphone jack. If you were using the traditional ABM 100, then you would need to connect it to the headphone jack, which is available. Well, let me show you where that is. So if you had the ABM 100, you would have to connect using this. using this headphone jack. But since we have the ABM 200, that's Bluetooth, we don't need this. So this simply attaches right here in this location. And then all I have to do to turn it on is just hold in the button and the blue light will start to flash. Now one thing that's important here is you want to make sure that this is aligned straight. There's nothing really to hold this in perfect alignment, but this does need to be aligned flat in order for it to read properly. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect that to the application. Alright, so this is the CPS link app right here. Select the CPS link app that will open up. I already have the um, the actual anemometer is turned on already, or at least it should be. Eventually it'll power down, but once we're in the application, then it's going to search for the device. It looks like it may have powered down already, so let's go, yeah, it did. So I'm just holding in the button until the blue light starts flashing. Blue light is flashing, and now we have the ABM 200 is showing up. So now I have options on the actual display of the uh, of the phone that shows me either the ABM 200 or I can select the ABM Easy Hood. So I'm going to go ahead and select the ABM Easy Hood. And now I can select whether or not, if you this top section here is to select whether it's a supply or return. And then the next menu is to select whether it's low airflow volume or regular airflow volume. So I'm going to go ahead and set this unit to full airflow speed Based on these prints, we're looking for 120 CFM in this room. So that's well above the 50 CFM threshold. So I'm going to start in regular mode and in supply mode. 
Let's go down to the bottom and select start, and now I'm ready to measure. I'm going to go ahead and put the unit into high airflow mode. All right, so I've put this into fifth stage, and so we are producing 1,300 um, CFM currently. This is a four ton unit, so that'll actually start to, I, I have it on lower CFM um, per ton because I am, we're in Florida and so we have high relative humidity. But we're producing 1300 CFM, so we should be close to the range that the system was designed for. You can see the vein in the monitor is currently not spinning at all. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a measurement. We are producing right at 80, 78, 80 CFM. So let's hit stop here, and then we can actually save that into our list for this job and take additional measurements. Now let's go ahead and set it to low airflow speed and show how it works with low output. So now I've set the system down to stage one. It'll take it a second. All right, so now we're down at stage one. That compressor RPM will come down. It's in time delay currently. There we go. So now we're only producing 500 CFM that should be low enough that we get below 50 CFM in my office, which means that we should it should require the low airflow mode on the hood. So now we're still on duct type supply. We're gonna to go to low volume measurement mode. And then we have to install the plate inside. Actually, let's first try it. Well, no, we'll just do it this way. And sure enough, we are measuring 9 CFM, which is well lower than what a typical flow hood would accurately measure. So let's go back and just for curiosity's sake, let's remove the plate and see if it'll actually spin the anemometer at all. And as you can see, without the plate in place at 9 CFM, it doesn't actually even spin the anemometer. And so it's displaying 0 CFM. So if you're measuring under 50 CFM, you do have to have that plate in place and you need to put it into low airflow mode. All in all, it's a very light device, it's very inexpensive, and it's very small to store in your vehicle. So for a residential technician measuring supply diffusers, it's, it's a great tool, and I think it will do the, do the job, especially if you have situations where you are measuring below 50 CFM. I'm Brian Orr, and I've made this video in conjunction with TrueTech Tools, truetechtools.com. Thank you for watching.